Here's the pack. The pack raft is on the bottom. The usual gear inside went with the one-man tent. And then the two-piece paddle. All told it weighs in the 40 pound range, but that alone weighs seven pounds, so. It's a little bit more weight than I, well, no, it's a lot more weight than I would bring on a, on a uh, typical uh, overnight trip. But yesterday, we, we were gonna leave yesterday and we didn't leave yesterday because there was big snow warnings. There's some serious snow in the area. So we have to be very well prepared. Uh, there's a life jacket in there. Uh, there's my sleeping gear, uh, there's clothing, extra clothing, dry bags, all sorts of things. So anyway, so it's going to be a pretty uh, awesome adventure. Back home and I just want to show the trip that you're about to watch, what we did. So Banff North, um, an area that I've hiked many times in the past, just to give you uh, an indication. This is Saskatchewan River Crossing. This is Highway 93, otherwise known as the Columbia Ice Field. Uh, this highway is the David Thompson Highway that goes off to um, Rocky Mountain House. And if you follow this highway up, goes past this big bend. And then this is the Columbia Ice Field itself. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to go up the Alexandra River. That's Alexandra Lake. This is the Alexandra Glacier. And we wanted to go up. Now, Norm, and float, hike up and float back down. Now, I've done this trail before, and this portion, hiking these first six kilometers are boring. So, but you got to cross the North Saskatchewan. That's why we start over there, because there's a bridge and it follows an old fire access road. So what we did is we put in at this little um, uh, day use area, and we floated a bit of the North Saskatchewan, about three kilometers, to a point right here where the Saskatchewan River comes really close to the trail. Then we deflated our rafts, got on, walked up there. That took us about three hours to get here. And then it took us a couple of additional hours to get here and we set up camp and then we went and explored up these canyons, but we got stopped. And then that was Saturday. And then on Sunday we put in the water, floated all the way back down the Alexandra River where it dumps into the North Saskatchewan. And then we continued all the way down until this spot around here where it parallels the highway. We got out. And then Laurent hitchhiked back up to get his vehicle. So that's the trip you're about to watch. Seven a.m. on our way to a little adventure. Step one: get some gas for the truck. This is the this is the North Saskatchewan. So Laurent's pondering, trying to think how we're going to get there. What's your thoughts? I don't know, it looks fast, it looks deep, so we might have to go probably a little bit closer from the trailhead over there. The two packs are, so we got about a kilometer, and a, two kilometers, two and a half kilometers down the river. There we go. Ah, that's better. J'étais assis trop en avant.
go. Je pense qu'il mieux de descendre là-bas, hein? Ouais. Ah. Uh, I mean it now, fuck. Ben, 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 nous, ouais, je vais peut-être arrêter juste ici. Ouais, ouais, c'est
Well, this beats walking five unnecessary kilometers. Woohoo! I better pay attention here. What a brilliant idea. So we floated three kilometers. So normally we go farther up the road and then there's a trailhead, a bridge over the North Saskatchewan and then and then we have to hike up along there six kilometers and then it takes a bend and it starts to follow the Alexandra. Well, we just shaved a good five or six kilometers and regardless, it. it it's only 10.22, so it shaves time, but more importantly, this is just fun. Why would you walk when you can float? So, like I said, we're gonna discover all sorts of new possibilities. We're gonna mark this. We know what to do from now on. This is our first big view of the river, the Alexandra. Looks like it's flowing nicely. This is one of my favorite spots because we've just, this is where we finally come and start following the creek. This is the spot where I camped uh, the first time I ever came here. Now I know I tried to go and looking for a trail going that way, but I know now that the trail goes around that point and Terrace Creek is just on the other side of there. We're almost at the point where uh, Terrace Creek dumps into the Alexander. This is the Alexander in front of us. Oh, yeah. Wow. Mais ça nous rallonge en bout. Ouais, ouais, la chaise est juste là. Quand tu disais l'endroit le, où j'étais émotionnel, c'est juste là, l'autre bord de ça. No, no. We've been there before. I'm not going to go to that cabin again. All right, balls deep. <sighs> Woo, baby! Holy shit, deep, 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 and cold, extremely cold.
The Alexandra is there and the Kalsagar is somewhere up there. Humans have been here before, but not too often. So we're going to set up camp and then we'll go for an exploration up to uh, towards Kalsagar Lake. There's the new tent. Here's the view. Yes, it's raining. How's the new tent working out? Sleeping bag, my fleece. Room underneath there for the underneath the awning. The raft. Sky right now. There's some blue. It, it's it's uh, 4:07. This rain will stop eventually, and then look at all this. All the branches off of this will come off. All of that. There's already a fire ring here. Plenty of wood. So here's a little inflatable pillow that somebody gave me. Uh, outdoor vitals. Like I said at home, I was thinking of getting one of these. like that. Wow. Oh, that ever comfortable. Way more comfortable than putting uh, clothes inside a pouch. Jeez, I should have gotten one of these a long time ago. Well, at least it didn't start raining until we got here. I'm under, you know, step one, always set up the tent worry about fire and stuff like that later so if uh, I'm, I'm all sheltered everything's good this is where we're gonna get on the river tomorrow morning float it all the way down He's not that big. There he goes. Plastic. So we're walking along here, making noise, and it doesn't matter. Why? I don't know. The river's so loud. It's usually something like that. I mean, we're we're walking along here. We're right next to the river, and uh, can't you keep your guards too it's a low. It's catch because we were just talking casually, not paying really attention if if something's there. Yeah, and, and we just finished saying there's no food there for him. Where you walk, there's evidence of humans. It's very hard. This, the bear was right there. Trying to figure out what had him curious. That's the Alexandra Glacier. This is the Alexandra River. Well, this is where the Castle Gar on the right dumps into the Alexandra on the left. Not obvious, but there is a trail here. Nobody's gonna get tired of this. We think there's like a canyon up ahead.
Jonah's making kindling. I'm gonna let him do it for a while, but right there is my famous zip fire starter. So it's not raining. It's different when it's raining. Then I don't mind having easy tricks. I still can't get over the fact that he moved here. What 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 made you want to come here? What was the attraction? Uh, you should point the camera this way. Just that you just you just like seeing the mountains. Yep, that's my thing now. Well, welcome to Alberta. Thank We're you. Boiling. Today I'm lazy. Alpine air, honey lime chicken. Mm 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 mm. <laughs> It's food, folks. It's sustenance. I brought this down to the river. I'm just going to rinse it out, pack out the garbage, rinse out the cup. Nothing fancy. For a knife. It's a Swiss Army knife. Well, I'm really happy. I mean, it, here's what happened. We were going to come out here last night. Uh, Laurent was getting off work at 3 o'clock. So from 3 o'clock to get here would have put us out here at 6 o'clock. And then we thought we were going to, out here meaning the trailhead, and then we thought we were going to walk into the first campsite, 6 kilometers. And, and, and he wanted to cross the river, the North Saskatchewan River, and I had my doubts about that. Um, so I had some worries, but the reason we didn't leave last night is because there was inches of snow that fell on the area. The highway was closed. There was a freak winter snowstorm. So I still thought that we were going to come out here and be um, wet, you know, and have a hard time finding the trail. And in fact, the conditions are absolutely gorgeous. So what we've done today has been super, super awesome. It's a great way to start the, the trip. You know, we, we floated part of the river, shaved six kilometers off the trip, came up to far almost at the cabin the cabin's right around the corner but we're not staying at the cabin we're close to the river and then we're, we're we got full bellies we ate fantastic tomorrow morning we're going to get up and uh, we're going to get on the river and we're going to float all the way down the castle gar and then uh or the alexandra and then we're going to go down the uh north saskatchewan as far as we can so uh really 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 happy with what uh, we've accomplished today So Laurent has some 1.8 millimeter rope and then he's got a little bag and he's got a rock in the bag so now he's going to toss it up. You want to try and do this branch hanging over here? Yep. Yeah. Should be good. Whoop. I'm going to push this off here. Well, 10.15, I want to sleep well. Oh, I just said there's a lot of mosquitoes. Yep. Oh, what a fantastic night.
6 a.m. I had knit rain all through the night. Uh, but nothing's frozen, so that's good. Absolutely contributed to a great night's sleep. Um, I'm using a mummy style sleeping bag, and so I just tucked it in there. And uh, the shape is nice, and uh, kept it. I mean, I could have reinflated it in the in the night, but I didn't need to. Uh, so no, it worked like a charm. And it's super lightweight. Comes with a great little pouch, and I'm just going to deflate it, and put it away. Actually, it's a it's a little check valve in there. Oh, just as I was doing that, I just heard an avalanche outside. Everything's dry on the inside. My usual coffee and hot chocolate. Morning folks. Let me show you what I'm waking up to this morning. So it is now uh, 6.58. Been up uh, uh, an hour. Here that got up and made a quick fire. Uh, no sense burning hydrocarbon, well we are burning hydrocarbons, we're burning wood which is a hydrocarbon. And look at that, the sun's going to come up right there, we knew that. And it's going to be a glorious That's our day. water source, ample water over there. Water for drinking. Uh, I brought a filter, I'm sure Laurent brought a filter but I haven't filtered the water yet. It's a little silty, what does it look like in the... Uh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad, and, and people often ask about the water, and the, the worst part of about of a water like that is you get a, maybe a little bit too much um, calcium in your stomach, but nothing. I was kind enough to dig me a little hole. There's his hole. Here's the view. Let's go. Holy shit, this is fast.
Wow, at this speed we'll be down in no time. no sense going easy just commit and go down holy shit was that ever cool oh, sorry for my French I gotta put my ca uh, camera I gotta have a navigate the trick is where do you go where's the main channel like I can scrape bottom right here Raining. Holy, look at the world. I don't even run this fast. Alexandra, hey Ben Brochu, eat your heart out. How is it? Ça roule, hein? On descend vite. Là, où est-ce qu'on va? À droite? Va à gauche. Passe à gauche, à gauche, à gauche. This is what's called the braided river. It's just, it's a torrential river, it's a glacial river, it just flows from, uh, oh look at how dead it is here, perfect. So this is uh, a glacier fed river, so it's extremely cold and it runs faster as the summer progresses, but it's called braided, it has all these channels. Now I gotta pay attention, there's a channel right here I want. That's the Alexandra Glacier right there. Oh shit. Pay attention, Marty. Pay attention. Now these kinds of things can be dangerous. Y'a des roches? Ok. Oh shit. Just stop to put some air in it and empty the water. My feet are cold. 
soon as you get on the water, you accelerate like mad. Look at this. Every turn, the scenery is different. Look at this. Woo! These are things, that's called the sweeper. That's very dangerous. A, it'll grab you and pull you under, or B, it'll rip the ki kayak apart. All right, which way here? Check that out over there, Karen, big cave. All the caves up there. Woo I debated too long. I wanted to go down there, but eventually you get caught by the current. You have no choice, so it's a little ziggier here. You can see it's shallow there. I don't want to go down that little channel of Eddie. All right. You learn to read the river where a bank comes out, you know there's gonna be a gravel bar, and so you go right down the middle. I can't do this, hang on. Where am I going, folks? Look behind me. Am I safe? Come on, son, do me a favor. Come on out, show your face, I'm cold. We're moving so fast, we're going to be dumping into the North Saskatchewan in no time. <coughs> oh, scraping bottom. Ah, oh, shit. Back at Terrace Creek, that's the creek valley up there. Except we as soon as you river. start, your feet are cold. The North Sask is just down there.
you look over there, you can see the road. Well, that's too bad. There's probably a nice glacier there and I can't see it. We've been floating about two hours. We just had a little burst of rain. There's sun behind there if I could turn around. And we're going to dump into the North Saskatchewan very quick. I'm not sure how far we're going to go down to North Saskatchewan. We'll play it by ear. There are not a lot of human beings who have floated this river. Back in the days, when the wardens went up to the cabin and there was a road, a fire access road in the 1950s, maybe somebody took a canoe up, but not in the modern era. We might be one of the first ones in the last 10 years to do this river. Hey, Mr. Beaver. And that right there that is the North Saskatchewan River right there folks we are now on the North Saskatchewan look at the goose there's a goose up there climbing crazy the goose climbed the cliff. Our cars are parked, our trucks parked over there. We crossed the North Saskatchewan, hiked up that way. Now we're back on the north. You can see traffic. People are probably looking at us wondering, well, who are those crazy guys on the other side? Where are they coming from? My Starbucks coffee. So we finished down there. It's a roadside turnout. It's 
Saskatchewan crossings that way. We're parked a little bit over there. So Laura needs to catch a ride of about uh, five kilometers and go get the truck. Didn't take long, Laura got picked up right away. 5K, don't leave me here. I've said it before, it's always tourists that pick us up. I just walk right up to them and they picked up Laurent, no problem. My fellow Albertans don't like to pick up hitchhikers. And I mean, do we look like a bunch of serial mass murderers? We're just coming out of the bush. We're a little bit dirty and we stink, but you know, we have pack rafts. What do you think we're doing? We're, we're, we're running from the law in our pack rafts. <laughs> Anyways, this was a great trip. I hope everybody enjoyed it. This was fantastic for me um two days the weather absolutely amazing so uh this is getting off the beaten path even further further folks so i uh, hope you enjoyed this one It was a good trip, everything worked out good. The weather was fantastic, a little bit of snow, a little bit of rain, uh, transportation. We're gonna do this trip again. Now it's two o'clock. We left uh, Saskatchewan Crossing about 20 minutes ago. Um, what are we gonna do, stop for a coffee and a donut at Banff? Yep, Tim yeah, Hortons. Tim Hortons, and then I'll be home at uh, five or six. Laurent's all happy, because uh, in the past, he'd be heading to a hotel room right now and trying to, uh, unroll his raft in a bathtub and try and dry his tent and everything before getting on a plane but now he can just head home now that he lives here leave his shit in the floor for his wife to clean up and then uh, he can go to work tomorrow and then when he comes back after a day of work everything will be clean and ready to go i don't think so <laughs> but that's one important thing when you get home from a trip like this uh, my advice we made little lists uh, of things that work things that didn't work so um you know, make sure, if possible, repack so you're ready to go next time. That way, if somebody calls you and says you want to go do a trip, you're all ready to go. Uh, replenish all your supplies, you know, replace your batteries, the rope you lost, uh, the shoes you lost. Uh, what else did we lose? We lost a few things, but it's all fun. All right. Cheers. And just like that, I'm back at work. This is what it's like. This is why I escaped. This is me getting off the train.